Geotextiles are supplied in rolls, up to six metres in width and lengths of several hundred metres. The geotextile can be unrolled on the construction site with adjacent rolls overlapping along the edges. Different geotextiles have different characteristics. Designer beware. The most common available geotextiles are non-woven, woven, knitted. Non-wovens are commonly used for separation and filtration. Major applications include roads, railways and waste containment. Wovens are more commonly used for reinforcement such as embankment stabilization. The different types of geotextiles obviously have different performance characteristics. You can clearly see the difference between non-woven and woven geotextiles. The non-wovens, shown here first, have the fibers laid down in a random manner, whilst in woven geotextiles you can clearly see the weave pattern. Geogrids, an open grid-like material designed specifically for reinforcement. Geogrids allow for inherently weak soils or structures to withstand higher loads. Some examples include a geogrid can be used behind a segmental block retaining wall to stop it from falling over. A heavy-duty haul road at a mine or construction site may use a geogrid to provide improved road performance and load carrying capacity. There are a number of different types and styles of geogrids, with each one being used for a specific application. A geogrid for a retaining wall will differ to geogrids for roads. It may have more strength in one direction than the other, be more flexible or come in wider, longer rolls to help with installation. Further, even for geogrids designed for roads, there are performance differences, as they are all designed to function in slightly different ways. Geosynthetic clay liners, GCLs. A roll of GCL is simply a clay sandwich, bentonite clay between two layers of geotextile. The bentonite clay provides the containment function while the geotextile provides stability, strength, and holds the clay in place. A GCL is used for containment, often in landfills and water storages. When the bentonite clay layer in a GCL comes in contact with water, it swells and seals, providing the low permeability layer. GCLs are often used in landfills as a part of the lining system to keep the leachate, or liquid waste, from moving into the surrounding groundwater. GCLs are supplied in rolls and can weigh up to 1,000 kilograms. The handling and installation of GCLs requires consideration on site as it is both a safety issue as well as a construction QA issue. For example, incorrect installation can lead to increased leakage. Geomembranes are wide rolls of plastic used to contain liquids and gases. Geomembranes perform the same containment function but have different sealing characteristics and installation processes to geosynthetic clay liners. Commonly made from high density polyethylene, but are also available in other polymer types. Sheets are welded together to form an integral structure with the plastic sheet generally around 1.0 millimeters to 2.5 millimeters thick. Geomembranes are the most commonly used containment product. Here you can see the wide rolls of plastic being laid out on a prepared soil base with a geotextile cushioning layer between the geomembrane and the soil. The geotextile helps prevent rocks from puncturing the geomembrane and allowing leaks. Geosynthetic drainage products help remove water from a structure 
to improve its durability and performance. There are a range of drainage products available, including sheet drains, panel drains, cuspated drains and vertical drains. All have different drainage characteristics and advantages over traditional drainage solutions. For example, vertical drains accelerate soil consolidation in a building platform. A traditional road edge drain will have a plastic pipe within a gravel filter layer, all within a wide trench, which is encapsulated by a geotextile. A geosynthetic road edge drain allows a thinner trench, which dramatically reduces the cost of imported backfill and speed up construction time. A sheet drain behind a retaining wall will reduce the water pressure on the back of the wall. Geosynthetics are used to minimize the movement of soil particles under the influence of water. Erosion is driven primarily by the force of water, whether it be in a road embankment, beach, riverway or mine site. Examples include temporary biodegradable products to help with revegetation, geocells which provide stability for soil slopes, geobags for use in coastal protection structures. There is a wide range of geosynthetic erosion control products. Temporary biodegradable products such as jute rolls will help the vegetation to establish by holding the soil together until the root systems grow strong enough to take over. Slopes or embankments in road projects may require a more permanent solution such as geocells, which can hold the soil layer in place. Supporting vegetation growth on particularly steep slopes or in highly erodible soils. Erosion control products used in coastal areas need to hold the sand in place under wind or wave attack during storm events. Geosynthetic bags and tubes are a durable and soft alternative to rock for this purpose. Many different types of products are available. Engineers need to have a deep understanding of the function required and select the most appropriate product. Geosynthetics are commonly made from oil-based derivatives, polymers. Different raw materials must be selected to address the environment in which they are expected to perform. In this section, we briefly look at the different polymer types commonly used in geosynthetic products and touch on manufacturing and quality assurance aspects.